Yo, cow, hitman. This was the f one, and I waited all day for this one. We had bars, angles, performance, and reality substance. If you didn't like this battle, please get the f out of battle rap. Please. One of the battles on tonight that lived up to the hype in this style clash. Hitman with his usual cadence and flow that was vintage. And then you had Cal showing the difference between the metaphors and the real raps. He broke Hitman all the way the f down. Let's get into it. <laughs> Now if you try to do one, I'ma oh do two. God, oh. Now if you try to do three, I'ma do four. Maybe even oh. more. That's I go by the name of P.O.L.O. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about no trucking company. I don't give a fuck about your jump shot. I don't give a fuck about your block. I don't give a fuck about them fake ass pot rules behind you or the registered pistols they got. I don't yeah. give a fuck about New Jersey <laughs> Twerk. Talk about I took this from any top. You still owe Mook $500, bitch, this my beginning now. Yeah, I'm on you, nigga. Let's go. Let's go, Cal. Talk, my nigga. Yeah, I'm on you, nigga. Let's go. Calico came out and set the tone early. Talked a little bit about their first run into each other on the Snoop League. To give you a brief introduction of the origin when it came to Cal versus Hitman Holler. So I appreciated that. A lot of the new fans may not have known that, but I appreciated him bringing that to the forefront. Thanks, folk. They gonna have his body on Say Cheese. So I told the gunman to lead a flash on. They think he a rough rider. Till I catch him round Eve. Take the knife, carve an X in his back, and watch it drag on. Go to court, get a silent treatment, and be back home. Ain't nobody... Uh, rough rider scheme. No, Cal. Hey. Cal is painting, bro. Ain't nobody never and say... I like that. Hey, my, my gun hey. say, Ain't nobody never say something was wrong with like your anime, daddy being like your like backbone. That's fine. But my... And then he had this one bar. Oh, my God. The presidential rolly shit? I schoolboy to the streets. Uh, Tapped in with my Cali niggas last week. Uh, Say he was out there thinking shit sweet. Uh, they done took the presidential rolly from him. He done got it impeached. <laughs> I... That's crazy. Oh my god. You know like when you're doing some shit, you ain't supposed to be the president, you get impeached. That's fucking crazy, dog. Talk, dog. It's shit like that from Cal when we talk street tales in that reality rap. It was a flawless round by Cal, but Hitman had to go, and oh my lord. Hitman came out explosive early with the haymaker that shook the building. It was 195000 to get that Benz off the showroom floor. Guess what I did? I went and got that motherfucking Benz right off the showroom floor. And now they got me battling a nigga that I used to have to wake up off a of showroom Room floor. floor. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I thought it was performed well and executed to a T when we talk passion, energy, and the showmanship behind that bar. No action. I'll catch you and Big T in slow traffic. Hop out. Scope action. Welcome to his whip. Set tripping in remote fashion. Any mixed signals and ten will be on top of TV. It'll be no static. You so ass. That's crazy. Go keep going, Hitman. I mean, bar after bar, all round long, Hitman was in the bag in this first round. Man, fuck every last one of them. I don't give a fuck about none of them. Your pops her, but I'm selling them. Y'all wanna know how to humble a nigga that's extra? Put the guy with the lean roll in front of him. You do a punch. That's fire. Watch this. Watch this. Fire. Watch that's, this. Now that's fire, bro. This nigga Hitman got too many explosive bars, oh. bro. That be shaking the entire oh, building, though. With all that being said, I had Hitman taking this round by edge. Because I like the shit that Cal was kicking in this round. And I will say this. Hitman going longer, I think, kind of played more so into his favor in this first round. But hey, that's just my opinion. I had Hitman edging round one. Now, in round two, here's where it got crazy. Because Cal did not come to play with this nigga. What's that avoidable situation? Couldn't turn into you getting killed with him. What if drunk cuz would have came out the shirt with the steel with him? Hold on, wait. Do y'all know he had his son take the shit? So this is what you really teach it to him. So you saying Big Jerk would have had you in that situation? I beg to differ, he a real nigga. He would have recognized Cuz as a fan. Probably let him shake your hand and take a picture, but you different. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Talk, Cal. But you different. That's a fact. 
an angle-based round by both MCs, with Kyle really dissecting Hitman's and painting his narrative on how he's not really a street nigga and how much of an easy lick he is when he's out in public as this, this quote-unquote celebrity. I thought it was effective in terms of the strategy to go with when we talk battling a guy like Hitman. This was brilliant writing by Calico. Hey! Surround, hey! Shut your extra ass up, man. You gonna get some fame? Surround it with. Hold on. Shut up, worker. You a worker. Your boss, my man. <laughs> hey! Some nigga. They wouldn't be able to walk out this bitch. Surround it with. Artillery, I can't even pronounce it. I mean, we talking about from the way he was raising his son to this whole street persona. Like, it's just. It's levels when you when it when battle rap has always been about degrading your opponent, breaking your opponent down to the smallest molecule. And I thought Cal was really, really on top of that in this battle. I'm talking about from first, second to the third round. He really covered a lot of ground in terms of just breaking Hitman down. I mean, from a performance base to the reality based arguments that two might have when talking about this battle. Cal was in his bag this whole entire round. Your whole family was front row yelling pick up and kill it from the wild and out tickets that I gave them. That's why I never put hands on you. Cause every time I see you, your daddy, your sister, you know you had family around, but now you disrespectful. Nigga, I should rock your shit like hand-me-downs. I can't stand this clown. You do too fucking Rock your much. Shit like hand me down. And you play too fucking Delivered much. Delivered it pretty well. And then you had Holla. He came out, he was very angle based as well in this round. Talked about how Kyle really didn't see any pluses being in the brotherhood, but then he go and jump ship and, and join groups with, you know, other NYC. It's just, I like, I like the contrast. I like the canvas he went out there and painted as well. But for me in this round, I thought Kyle came out flawlessly picking apart hitman holla's character i thought it was executed well and put together perfectly and so here we are we won one going into the third round this battle was up right now the energy is high the passion is there both these guys are fighting for what's right and that is the bragging rights in terms of what we deem as one of the most elite mcs in this game today we had a battle one one going into the third you get let's in these, go you get in these interviews and just cut off the interview Cause you ain't tripping. I done seen you rehearse performance, my nigga. You scripted. I said you be acting like a lame sometime. Never said you couldn't rap. Nigga, you gifted, but I ain't about to be bootlicking to be in cahoots with you. You said I ain't your man. Let's go. Hold on. Let him go. Finish, Kyle. I need to hit this. Y'all hold it down. And so now we at the top of the third round. And Cal come out again and strike. More grown man bars, more reality raps that I was here for. Get the ones, fives, and tens away. I bless people because I'm blessed. I'm trying to show my family and friends the way. Lil' Gerald, you blessed too. Well, let me tell you what I meant to say. I can give your whole family life to God and cut all loose ends today. Because first I'm a baptized holler, then I'm going to take your sin away. P oh my God. Is y'all crazy? You know, seeing, seeing his big, uh, his, his Are girlfriend, that's fire. What? How, my nigga, I go. To take his sin away, take his sin away. The, the, the sin, that shit was crazy. Cal was in his Duffy dog. And even if you don't like Cal because he not punching as much as, but he find a way to throw the little clever punches in there. As in what we just heard just now. Shit like that, man. I just said, Cal was in a bag, my nigga. He was on one. He even took a shot at Tay Rock's chick. Uh, what's your name? Lady Caution? He even took a shot at her. Be solid, bitch. At least acknowledge it. I know I ain't the nigga you want a problem with. Y'all ever seen a big booty bitch walk? Yeah, the ratchet got a switch. Think Tay Rock girlfriend. Yeah, the ratchet got a dick. Oh. Lady Caution caught it straight. Oh my. God. And then it's like people be saying like shit like Cal, he don't really punch us, he's not really explosive enough. Like it's like, but you gotta understand what type of MC we dealing with. It's simple shit like simple lines like Cal be saying shit like, uh, what do he say tonight? He said something about I seen you rehearse performance, nigga. You scripted. See, it's shit like that. Like it's simple, but it's so complex because it's true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These battle rap niggas, like, you know, you gotta understand the type of shit that niggas be kicking. Like some of these niggas be really fraud with the shits, but they just know how to perform the shit really well. And that right there is what Cal was just trying to insinuate to the people. Like, nigga, you you scripted. And need I add one hell of a closure when it came to the big Gerald flip from the nigga Cal? What you hurt, slime? Did I catch you at your worst slime? Hey, Big Gerald! No, don't get quiet now. You should have shut the fuck up the first time. It sounded like a chick that. <laughs> I got a nigga battle me. I make a 
feel what? Right. The metaphors are real rap. To close out his round like that, man, was just beautiful. Beautiful. This was the cow that I wanted to see and show up. Cow kept it short, sweet, very effective, and to the point when it came to his position and breaking down Hitman Holla all three rounds consistently. And in my opinion, it just some shit supersedes punchlines. At some at some point in these battles, we gotta give it up to the real rap and reality substance over the punchlines. And let's not forget, we at the bottom of the third, Hitman still had the rap. He came out with this boxing scheme I thought was fucking very clever. I just don't play with mine. They like, why holla always talking about fighting? Well, maybe because I got a boxer state of mind. Boy, I'm Ali with the talking, Tyson with the walking. I'm Floyd with the money. I'm Wilder with the barking. I'm Shane with the women. Can never win. Let me come. Let him go. Watch this. Go, Hitman. Y'all gotta let him cook his food, bruh. I see what you doing with the boxing scheme, my nigga. With a little bit more breaking down of Cal and how, nigga, how you, like, how you get online and talk shit about somebody who's been this loyal to you. So it's like, we had a very angle-based battle. We had bars. We had crazy punchlines. Rhyme scheme filled with crazy rhythm and flow. The flips, the personals. I mean, I can go on and on about this battle because it was one of them ones. From Detroit, well, I'm a bad boy. Bring the Pistons back to pump. I get the urn around like fix a flat and leave Kyle at the bottom of the box like nutrition facts. I'm a different cat. I like that. Now that's fine. Sit like that, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> I like that. The punches from, the punches from Hitman all night long, man. Them shits is landing too, bro. Holla throughout this third. He was spitting punchlines. They just wasn't as explosive as they once were in that first round. But was it good? Absolutely yes. So my verdict stands as I got Kyle taking this battle with the 21. Now I'm not going to say clear because you can make an argument for Hitman in that in that in that second round. But some might add you can make an argument for Cal in that first round. You understand what I'm saying? So it was just really one of those battles. But for me, almost standing clear on my position with who won this battle, I got Cal with the 21, with just being a little bit more consistent and being able to break down Hitman Holler's character and flaw when it come to him as the MC. Cal did enough for that for me tonight. So I give that man this victory. Cal was someone we have to continue to put some respect on their name. As well as Hitman too, but this moment is about Kyle and what Kyle did tonight. He like the overseas niggas, so I'm walking to the roof with him. How you keep a ham sandwich in line? You toothpick him. I lured him into the trap, bitch. Mm. I lured him into the trap, bitch. Let's Hold go. on. Y'all gotta Hold let on. him look. Kyle has been talking to Pepper all you night, dog. I lured him into the trap. What? Bitch. He showed why he's one of them ones that's well established in this game is going to continue to be well established while picking his battles wisely and going up there and executing the way he know how to execute and breaking these niggas the fuck down. And that's how I call it. Follow your boy on some of the social medias, the Twitters, the Instagrams. Talk to me on there, please. I talk back. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that like button and comment down below. Then share this video worldwide because that's the only way we gonna grow. And I guess that my time, y'all. I'm up out of here. Yo, salute the cow. That nigga showed the fuck up. I ain't gonna lie. I thought Hitman every fucking round was gonna probably be super explosive and too much for the nigga. But he showed like, nah, nigga, it ain't gonna be that. Not tonight. <laughs> hey, y'all, P, nigga. I see you, bro. You got one. I don't understand why you